your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. It is a colder start out there this morning. Now, not a whole lot colder, but when you look at temperatures, 5 to 10 degrees colder than where we were yesterday morning, an indication that temperatures are at least chilly as the day begins. Now, I will say this, as we're looking at these 30 degree readings around 32 to 35 degrees, this is warmer than it should be in the morning hours for a January morning. These temperatures are probably closer to where we would be for a daytime high. However, we got wind factored in, so that wind this morning coming in out of the west at around 15 miles per hour sustained is definitely adding a chill. We've had peak wind gusts in the overnight hour already seeing some of those at 30 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts. So that wind is definitely keeping that cold feel for us. And while temperatures are starting off in the 30s, you would think, oh, well, that means it's going to warm up today. Yeah, it's really not. Temperatures aren't going to change a whole lot through the course of the day today. That system that brought all of the rain and snow and all of the severe weather in the deep south is now working its way off into the northeast. And again, it's rain for some of the major cities there on the backside. Still some snow lingers out across the Great Lakes region. We had a little bit of light snow that could be seen in the overnight hours, but it didn't amount to anything as expected. It just was in the air and out there. So most of us wake up to a start to the day with damp roads, yes, but those temperatures are for the most part above freezing, so a scattered slick spot or two couldn't be ruled out, but most of us are going to be okay as we take off and head out the door to work this morning. Clouds will be plentiful as we start the day. We may see a few breaks in those clouds as we go through the day today, maybe a peak of sunshine or two, but we're also going to have a little clipper that might try to produce a few flurries out there later tonight, early tomorrow morning. Clouds will be plentiful throughout the day on Thursday ahead of our next weather maker that gets here by Friday morning. Now, this indicates that this may start as some decent rain south of I-70 and potentially start as a little bit of snow for some of those northern areas, but this will quickly transition to all rain once again for everybody on Friday. After that, we're going to see the changes come and we're going to see some big changes come as we get into early next week. Again, we've been talking about this for a while too. This cold air mass coming into play for us is going to drop our temperatures as we get into the start of next week to not only the coldest of the season so far, but dangerously cold in the case of wind chills below zero and temperatures down near the zero mark itself. Now, I think by the middle of next week, we'll start to see the the coldest of air begin to go away, but I will say this, it's not going to warm significantly and another blast of cold may follow as we get to the end of next week. A below normal pattern is going to hold in place through the middle and end of next week. Don't expect temperatures to improve and do expect to have to bundle up no matter where you're going if it involves being outside next week. Today's temperatures in the 30s, it'll be mostly cloudy much of the day today and still breezy. Now again, we may see some sunshine today, but I think those clouds tonight could also produce a scattered flurry or two. Not a big deal. 33 the overnight low. As we go through the day tomorrow, still mostly cloudy, maybe a few hints of sun here or there, but the rain returns for Friday. We may end that as a little light snow early on Saturday. Then another system Sunday night into Monday has a better potential of producing some snow. And look at those temperatures below zero Monday morning and Tuesday morning with daytime highs struggling to get out of the single digits. Monday and Tuesday, the coldest of the winter season so far. Bitter cold temperatures as we start next week. I felt like one of those really dramatic people because I, okay. <laughs> I was like, I, went, very dramatic I, too. I know, I, seriously, <laughs> I went to the store yesterday so I can hibernate all weekend and not yeah. have to leave. I'm like, oh my gosh, my mom's like, are you preparing for the apocalypse? I'm like, no, I'm just going to get a little cold. No. Just, just, I'm just not going to want to leave I'm house. just a little, the drama. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Thank you. Still to come.